Here's your coffee, babe. Coffee for you. What's going on guys and gals? Today is October 16th. It is a Monday, my favorite day because we get to start the week off right. <laughs> Yesterday was our one year anniversary for putting out videos on YouTube. We did a long hour long live stream, me and Callie and Allie. So if you didn't catch that live stream, it is still posted. You can go watch it and check it out. But that was a lot of fun. We're definitely going to be doing some more live streams coming up here. But yeah, that means that today is the first episode of season two of the Rally Roots vlog. So welcome guys. If you're brand new to our channel, basically we are just on online resellers so we buy stuff we sell stuff online on platforms like eBay and Amazon and then we use our profits to go travel buy sell travel <laughs> and like I said today is Monday Monday is a very important day for us in our business we always do like a Monday meeting with with the three of us with Cali Alley and I <laughs> That's hard to say, Callie Allie and I. So I'm on my way to our warehouse right now. I'm gonna go meet up with Callie and Allie and then we'll all go get lunch together. And basically what we do is we have a, a meeting together to plan out our week. You have to have goals and set actions in place, long-term and short-term as well. So we go and we have these, these breakfast or lunch meetings every single Monday and we just plan out our tasks for the week. So that's what we're gonna do today. And then later on today, I have a very small local buy that I'm gonna do. I'm spending like $80 to make $80 basically, but <laughs> it should be a fun day. Welcome to season number two of the Rally Roots vlog. Let's go. Hey Callie, what's going on today? What are you watching? Just watching myself. <laughs> on that one year live video. Did y'all have fun? Did y'all watch? Did you make it? I look the same. Monday meeting? Should we go have our Monday meeting? Monday meeting! Callie, you wanna go? Yes, please. Where should we go for lunch? Food. Pita. I want pitas. You want pitas? That's a weird thing to want. Pitas? Well, I don't. Yeah. I mean, when was the last time you had a pita? A while ago. That's why I want them. Oh, <laughs> I don't know where we can go get pitas. Lunch was really good. <laughs> hey, y'all want some soy sauce? <laughs> y'all find this at garage sales. Sell it on Amazon. <laughs> Um, what was it? A bunch of money for some of these. Lunch was good. How so was lunch, good. Allie and Callie? Loved it. Allie and Callie in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. We love our Monday morning meetings or afternoon in this case. Oh yeah, it's afternoon now. We, we started in the morning and worked our way into the afternoon. <laughs> night the by morning, night, no my sushi. <laughs> <laughs> so now I we're gonna go. I do. Allie's got to go to, where are we going, Joanne's? Yeah. Ryan's least favorite store. I just need to buy something really, really fast. I know exactly what I need. I'm going to pop in, grab it, pop out. Nice. Uh-oh. To Joanne's. Switch a timer. Callie said we should try to do some retail arbitrage while yeah. in there. Make the most of our time, Scan right? a couple things. What is totally. up with these fire truck wars happening right now? You hear this? <laughs> <laughs> wee wee wee. I'll go to a different store without 100 people with <laughs> <laughs> Allie's mad because the line was too long. There were 30 people in line! <laughs> 30! Yeah. That's so many! First world problems! I'm just saying, I'm not gonna make you guys wait while I stand in line for 25 minutes. Whoa! <laughs> oh. oh! So full! Alright, back to the office. We're gonna go through all those coffee oh. machines today. That's task number one. All yes. you can eat is You've a got bad like idea. <laughs> <laughs> We've got like a hundred coffee machines to go through and make sure that they're good and ready to sell so we can list them and hundred. sell them. Something Lego. like that. Lego! Alright guys, let's go through these coffee machines. Oh, okay! Let's do it. I'm 
So we went through all of the coffee machines. We went through them all. I would say most of them are good. Probably 90% of them were fine. We had a few of them that were missing a couple pieces, but with those ones, we'll just sell them individually or piece them together into other units. So not too bad there. We expect when we buy in bulk like this, um, especially from this particular supplier, we do expect about 10% of them to be unsellable for us. So but we make sure that we go through all of them and check them before we list them and sell them so we know exactly how to list them and sell them. That's important. But that job's done and now we got a present in the mail. You wanna open it quick, babe? Yes. Present time! Ah. Oh God. <laughs> Can I have it? No. Nope. Yes. Okay. No. Nope. <laughs> Who's it from? Who's it from? This is a present from... Brian Flesh. Oh, Brian. From, what's IA, Iowa? Indiana? <laughs> Thanks for the present, Brian. Yay. All right, open. Okay. <laughs> I'll just sit up here while you open it. You ate a lot of ice cream yesterday. I don't know if those boxes can handle I it. I ate one ice cream ice yesterday. Ice cream belly. One pint of ice cream. Oh, whoa, what is you going on? You can read on camera. Ooh. Read off Business read off camera. off camera, personal you can read on camera. Oh, whoa. What is this? They're all different coffees, but like. Wait, what? This one's a strawberry wave cheesecake coffee? What? Hello, Ryan and Ali Roots and Callie. Oh, hey. Callie. I have only been watching your videos for a short time and have commented a couple times as Mr. Dragon's Fire. Cool name. Ooh. I find your videos very informative and entertaining. While out at a thrift store buying things from my eBay store and online store, I came across this sweatshirt. Ooh, and it reminded me of you guys. Sweatshirt. Ooh. So I had to get it and send it to you. I have no idea if it'll fit either of you, but you can keep it simply as a novelty item. Cool. I also know how much you love coffee. We clearly love coffee. Did you see all our coffee Oh my machines? god, I love how you wrote this, and I have enclosed some of the samples of coffee. Oh, the coffee that you Ooh. sell. That's cool. As well as some premium tea you can make hot or cold. I hope you enjoy them. We love tea as well. I love tea. So coffee, he sent us like a whole bunch of coffee. Let me go put this knife down. Tea, raspberry green tea. Oh my god. Oh, there's the website there. So cool. Lots and lots of tea and coffee. Oh, it's a root sweatshirt. It's a root sweatshirt. <gasps> yeah. That is awesome. I think it's your size. It looks like my size. It's a large. Oh, this is so vintage and cool. Oh my gosh. Olympics. It fits. It fits me. Mine. This smells so good. Another thing for Ryan's. This is cool. Look, it's a USA Olympics 2002 sweatshirt. Campfire s'more smoked coffee. Love, ooh, that sounds delicious. This is nice. This is super nice. Thanks, Brian. Chocolate peanut butter cup. Thanks for the gifts. What are you Thank getting you. over here? You want some tea or coffee? I don't usually do tea or coffee. Yeah, that's oh. good, that's but I need to get off a of Red Bull. Maybe I should start. You should. <laughs> Oh my god, this is amazing. Thanks, Brian. You're the man. Just left the warehouse. It was an amazing Monday. Really good, super productive. We got a bunch of stuff done, so that's really cool. Before I go home today, I actually set up a quick little local buy. It's only one item, but I actually did this just to show you guys how you can source some stuff in your local market and then flip it onto Amazon or eBay for a good profit. So check this out. I'm gonna actually show you exactly how I found this item and how much it should sell for and my potential profit flipping it locally from offer up onto Amazon FBA. Check it out. This sourcing tip for local stuff may just blow your mind. What I do when I'm looking for local stuff is I go to this website, it's called OfferUp, and I search for new items in my local area, and I just basically scroll through to see what I can find. And I'm looking for brand new items in the boxes that I can flip onto Amazon FBA. So check it out this weekend, I found this item right here. And the cool thing, see that? They actually put the Amazon listing up there. So they're asking $125 for this blender. This is literally what I do, guys. I go into my Amazon seller app, and I go to add a product, and I just scan the item. On Amazon, you can just scan the item straight from the website. Look at that. And it pulled it up. And then I just look and I can see, there you go, the new price on it, $184, my gross proceeds, $157. 
and my selling eligibility, you can sell the product. So I just sent this person an offer straight from the website for 80 bucks and they accepted it. So right now I'm gonna go pick that item up. Obviously I'm gonna have to pay for some shipping, but $157 gross proceeds, spending 80 bucks and getting 157 bucks back before shipping. So I'll probably make like 50, 60 bucks for what, maybe five minutes of work? It's a really cool way to source stuff locally if you're low on cash or if you're just starting out and flipping stuff on Amazon. This is a really good way to do it, guys. Pretty neat trick, right? That's something that really anybody can do in their local market, offer up or let go, scan stuff on your phone with the Amazon seller app and start making money. It's a crazy way to build your capital in this reselling game. So I'm gonna go pick up this item real quick. It's only like 15 minutes away from me and I'll send it to Amazon probably tomorrow. Yeah, let's go. So I'm meeting this person in a really cool part of Tampa called Seminole Heights. It's like an up and coming area. It's a really, really cool spot. A lot of the places are being redone. And I'm actually at one of my favorite pizza places called Cappy's, but I'm gonna be good and not go in there and get pizza. I'm just waiting for this person to come here. <laughs> Thank you. You're very, very welcome. Enjoy Thank you so much. yourself. And we have a blender. It's pretty big. It's probably gonna cost me like 10, maybe 12 bucks to ship. But even with that, after shipping, after everything, probably will still make, call it 60 or $70 net profit. So again, for me to run down the road, pick it up, get on offer up and go and pick it up, it's really not that big of a deal. And it's a great way to make a little bit of extra money. And that'll be the end of season number two, vlog episode number one. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today, guys. We will see you next time. I'm Ryan Roots. Peace.